Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tim McBride, a fashion and beauty photographer based in London, UK. So today I'll be bringing something really interesting to you guys. Um, I'll be teaching you guys, or I'll be showing you guys how to edit lifestyle pictures on your mobile phone. You know, I, I made a video like some some while back and I was showing people how to actually like um take pictures with your mobile phone and I think today should just be like a follow-up video to actually after you've taken the pictures from your mobile phone how to actually edit this um this pictures. So um the, for you to be able to edit pictures on your mobile phone that would look actually really nice more like a lifestyle kind of like pictures and when I say lifestyle I'm actually referring to more like um you know the beauty bloggers the fashion influencers and all of that she was <laughs> yeah so um the most of them tend to like have a very very nice aesthetic to the look or the greed of their instagram or like their socials which is like really interesting and very very catchy so if you think you want something just like that i think this video is for you so without further ado let's just jump right into it so firstly the application you would need yeah for you to be able to take the pictures of your phone you need applications and um the applications you're going to need uh some are actually free and some are paid but with this um video i'm trying to do right now i would love to break this video into two different parts so i'm going to start with um the free versions of the application i'll be mentioning right now because yeah you can actually still get your pictures edited with your phone using free applications but of course there's a reason why they are being paid for at the same time you may have to get um if you're using the paid version it to make you get your stuff done in no time so um the applications um we have on the likes of like snapseed you have lightroom mobile you have vseo and you have facetune two yeah these are the applications i would use if i want to like edit with my phone so for the snapseed it's actually a free application lightroom is both free and paid but um, you get more stuff with the paid version and for the vseu it's also free and paid but you could get more stuff too with the paid and fisting obviously you just want to pay for that one for you to actually get the full use of this application although it's free also but you need to pay for that one fashion bloggers or fashion influencers yeah i think that's the word tends to like have a team behind their page some of them may decide to use more like a etsy or neutral few kind of like page set up while some of them might decide to use more like a, a colorful color pop but i think majorly most people tend to like drive towards the etsy or brownish kind of like tony which you know most girls love melanin and you know everybody wants to be melanin popping and yeah <laughs> you need to put these two things into consideration is either the background you're trying to like take the pictures in is more like a neutral tone kind of like background or the half which you're wearing itself too is more like a neutral outfit and what what do i mean by neutral we're well, talking about neutrals are more like white black gray beige 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 anyways you get me <laughs> for the neutral tones is that you have in your office more like a neutral one but don't get it don't get it mistaken when i say neutral tones doesn't mean everything you need to wear it needs to be white or it needs to be like yeah you could also have a little bit of color pop but bear in mind is that you're putting on a a not so bright color like a, more like a neutral tone or monochromatic kind of like color but still having your background neutrals i just opened the application the snapseed application which is free you can download from your itunes or your android phone so first and first after importing the photo in the lightroom because obviously you just press the open button and you click the picture you want to like actually edit so you're going to go down to the tools menu which you can see or you can find about here so you're going to click on the tools then as the menu is organized that's how i'm going to like start so i'll start with tune image so for you to tune image um this is the first menu you can see up here will be brightness and you know as the name implies do you want to increase the brightness of your picture right now you're just trying to like highball all of this every picture will be different so 
you work on every picture different differently so i got this picture from um modo which i requested on my instagram for girl um um anyone to send me their pictures to use for this tutorial which she did and she's a really pretty girl i would put her, i'll place her instagram and right somewhere on this video <laughs> yeah so she sent me this picture and and okay looking at this picture right here just to analyze it you can see she is pretty more like a red and a white and also where she is right now is more like a neutral tone kind of like feel because it's like all a white background and all of that i think the similar the back has a gray which is very nice good so for us to start we're going to start with the brightness i'm going to increase my brightness a tad bit yes yeah, since i'm going to uh, this part which i think is all right then i'm going to slide hop you know i slide i slid <laughs> to, to the right to increase the brightness so i'm going to slide up this time so i could change the um, stuff to the contrast right now which is the next one and if you don't want to slide you could easily just press this button right here to change it into contrast so i'm going to click on my contrast and maybe add a little bit of contrast to the picture i think um what makes up a, what makes up a picture is not even really i think what makes up a picture is little minute changes actually make up your pictures look really amazing it's normal like because you're seeing this picture and you have a software you just tend to like go <laughs> it's gonna look really crazy guys so yeah i'm just gonna add a little bit of contrast the contrast to it um i'm going to move down to my saturation uh, i'm not too sure if i want to add the saturation to it but i could just add a tad bit to it just have a little bit of color pop right there so i'll move on to the ambience this is not really compulsory but let's see what it does if i increase it you can see your skin is looking a little bit more lively compared to the previous one i could add this a little bit let's do this and the highlights the highlights actually affect more like some of these areas you see that yeah the back is looking need to be more brighter i mean the background is looking need to be more brighter um i could increase the highlights and the shadows the shadows is more like as you guys can see it's gonna really affect the down part of our leg so um shadows yeah i just increase the shadow a little bit warmth i'm going to leave this warm because i really want to touch this because this is basically just so you like make the image warm or make it really cold when you take the slider to the other side you don't want to touch that so um i'm going to leave my warmth in zero and if i long press the screen i can see the before and the after of just that little stuff we have done you see guys the before and the after so i'm going to press ok i'm going to move back to the tools menu this time i'm going to skip the details i'm going to skip the curves for now and i will go to the white balance so this white balance is like really very very important guys click this high dropper tool right here when i click this i just want to select an area in my picture that actually looks white not an overexposed but not like a very bright part in my picture but just a part that looks somewhat white and if i do that i can see what just happened to the picture press ok this is the before and this is the after look at the color how the color changed just there you can see the background is looking a little bit like very dull and has like a little bit of green tint and all of that but right now it looks more like a proper white white i'm going to move to the selective so what the selective does really in snapseed is the areas in which you want to affect majority it's more like you know as the name implies select i'm going to select the face area you can see it showed brightness i'm going to now use my two fingers and actually pinch into the screen so i can just select the particular area i want which is because i want it to just affect the face only so i'm going to select that part i'm just using my two fingers to pinch in so brightness i'm going to like increase my brightness right there because I want my face to like pop more and the same thing too I'm going to add plus button and select around that leg area if I feel it's looking dark and pinch again guys don't forget pinch so I'm going to pinch in to make my selection around that area and increase the brightness again from this and 
I think it will look good this way. But mind you, it's not only the brightness you could affect, you could decide to like scroll up and affect the contrast, the saturation and you know all those all of those <laughs> stuff but i think i would just do with the brightness only for this one and just for you guys to see before after or just the brightness we affected before after before after okay and the general before after we've done from the beginning bang 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 Good. I'll come back to the tools again after I've done my selective for this brush sometimes you might want to use it but really for a start right now that you're just trying to get into this um, I would advise you not to just leave the brush alone for now then I'm going to come, um, skip the brush I'll come to the healing tool this is very important so the healing tool as the name implies it definitely is more like your blemishes and spots you have in your picture so for you to use the alien tool i'm going to use my two fingers again because i'm trying to just zoom in it's best you zoom in see this pictures when you're trying to like use the alien tool because if you're zooming from if you're trying to heal generally let's say maybe around that leg area and you just want to take off the spots she has there and you do this it's gonna mess up your picture as you guys can see so you would love to zoom in this way and if you're trying to drag zoom in with two hands and if you're trying to drag you use your two fingers again to drag because if you decide to use just one finger beep, that means you're making a selection already you don't want to do that you use your two fingers so you see maybe around this area i'm going to paint i'm zoomed in i'm trying to take off those black spots right there i'm just painting really just easy peasy just taking those stuff out i'm gonna rush this so <laughs> i don't waste everybody's time okay like i can see the veins in her leg right there i paint that off paint off paint those off parts yeah you know you need to check the face area I can see a stray hair around here. If you want to take that out, you can take that out. Yes, guys, and press OK before, after, before, after. Because it's more like a full lens kind of like picture, so it's not really evident that way. You can actually see the loads of the. And she got a really good skin. So, guys, I would go to the portrait menu and click on the portrait menu and i'll move down i'll move to the skin smoothing i'll leave the face spot like was really i don't want to use that it's just like make every other part dark and like brighten up the face but i'm going to come down to the skin smoothing and increase the smoothing to the level or the parts i know that it's good enough for me because it's a personal preference but you know everything should actually be sub to so i'm going to put in about 60 plus 60 and press ok and um the next thing i'm going to do is maybe like um to the portrait um going to like the eye clarity how would increase the eye clarity so it's to make the eye bright so it's more like brighten the eyes that's what it's going to do so after i've done that to press ok and um let me show you guys the before and after what we've done on snapseed before after before after you can you guys can see just the little tweaks we've done we've done quite a whole lot of stuff on this so i'm going to export this right now to my phone just save a copy good so right now i'll jump straight to the next application which i'm going to use to be vsu and i basically use vsu just to do my color grade or create the color the team i kind of like, like to the picture so let's go straight to vsu guys so right here i'm going to come to my camera room i'm going to select the picture we just edited of snapseed which is this one i'm going to import it into my vsu which is create a draft so after i've created the draft i would come down to my draft pick this picture because i want to edit the picture um i have my favorite um i have my favorite colors that i use in vsu which is more of the c4 the a4 so but for this particular picture and this is currently a paid version of vsu so you might not have all of these ones in your version if it's free so um i'm going to go down to the c4 right here uh, okay i think i passed already 
this is the A4. You can see the brownish gold kind of like vibe. It just gives the picture before and after, before and after. So, but I'm going for the C, which is the C4. That are before, after, before, after. Yes, it affected the reds, but yeah, I want our skin to look brownish. I want everything to look milky and like soft. So that's nutritious. That's just what I want. So this I'm gonna say before, but mind you, you could still do some little tweaks here. So I'm going to press OK. I'm going to come down to this adjustment here. I'll leave the adjustments, how the exposure, I'll leave it alone because I think everything looks good the way it looks. The contrast, I could decide to add contrast or not, but I could just add a little bit of contrast. Let's say about five plus five contrast. Then sharpen, I'm going to add a little bit of sharpen to this because I know I'm exporting the final picture from here. Then clarity, I'll leave the clarity because it's going to mess up my skin tone. If I turn it up, you can see how bad that made the skin look. So I'll leave the clarity. Saturation, personal preference. I might decide to add saturation, just a tad bit to it so our <clears throat> skin looks lively. Yeah, that's what the saturation. Then um, um, my highlights and shadow highlight this is basically just to recover your highlights in case you have a blown out area in your picture or an ever exposed area when you turn this up it's a recover it but i don't need that right now i will leave the highlight the way it is the shadow i'll leave the shadow the way it is because yeah it's recovering your shadow too i don't want that cancel the skin tone i'm going to come down to the skin tone if you increase your skin tone it has more of a green tint to it but i don't want green tints because i want my skin to my skin to look brownish so i'm going to take it to the negative and make my skin look a little bit more brownish and for the white balance i could decide to leave this white balance because we've done it in snapseed already so i could just add a little bit of tint to my white balance which is like magenta tone increase it to like plus one yeah i'm going to press ok so before i keep going let me show you guys the before and after before after before after see how this looks good so i'm going to move down to the split tone skip all these other ones keep the um, split tone the shadow tint i want to add a little bit more orange to the shadow tint you can see it's currently in 12 percent i never put my stuff in the highest so i'm just going to add a little which is about 0.4 there about this is it so the shadow highlights i decided to add a little bit of blue tint to the highlights maybe like 0.1 that's plus 0.1 I'm gonna do that to the highlight and tada tada so I'll move to the HSL which is um, <clears throat> the hue the saturation and the luminance I need a glass of water <laughs> good so for the for this one your skin tone falls around the orange and the red for most skins so what I would do right here is I'll go to the orange I could so the the lightness is basically you want to increase the brightness of the orange and that's majorly your skin tone because your skin tone is more like the orange tone so if i do this not increase it you can see what's happening to the skin i don't want to increase it i'm just going to leave it the way it is because i think the skin looks okay the way it is then for the saturation if i want to increase saturation i can maybe just a tad bit but i decide to leave it the way it looks too but let me just add the saturation of plus 0.3 and press ok to this and that brings me to the end of my color grade on vsu and let's see the before and after before after before after before after guys so yeah this brings me to the end of my edit of using free applications to edit lifestyle pictures with your phone um the next video i'll be dropping will be a video of actually using the paid version which is going to be the facetune 2 and also the lightroom mobile so those ones will be much more like um they will get the job done faster and you would the job with the picture will look much more um retouched <laughs> so this still looks okay for like a basic if you know you don't want to like invest into 
um, buying most of these applications, which I would advise you to if you know you're more like the kind of person who wants to go into that line of being more like an influencer of fashion and all of that. It's quite interesting for you to actually purchase them. So it's going to bring me to the end of this video. Kindly like, share, comment and subscribe on my channel and don't forget to click the notification icon down below to get it fired as soon as I drop the next video.